So let's take a look at define property and what the implications are of each of these configuration items that we have and why we might use define property on our objects. All right, so here we've got our task object that we created in the last demo. And basically it's just a title and description. And then we've got a function to string that returns the title and then the description on it. Now, if we convert this over to be object.define property, I can add this to string this way. So we're gonna pass in task and then the name of the property we're adding. And in this case, we're adding to string. And then the last parameter to this method is a JSON object. Let's clean this up. All right, so here's what we got. We got value. And in this case, the value is just gonna be the function because we're adding that function to task. Now we add the three parameters. We've got writable, we'll make that true. We've got enumerable, also true. And we've got configurable. And we'll set all three of them to true for right now. All right, now, as of this moment, everything should just work exactly the same way. And we can pop over here and do our node and see we're still getting our two string with the my title and my description. That's what we've got right here. This dot title, this dot description. Now, let's talk about why we might do some of these things. One thing that's very annoying about JavaScript is that everything is assignable. So if I say task dot two string equals high, I have now broken task because two string is now equal to high. So when I run this now, everything breaks because two string is no longer a function. Two string is now this thing high. So what writable lets us do is prevent that from happening. We set this particular property to false for writable. And that means that you can't accidentally or inadvertently overwrite this property later. So now if I run this, it's going to work. Now, in fairness, I did not get an error, nothing bubbled up. So be careful, but I would rather not have my function overwritten than to have something weird happen. All right, now let's look at enumerable. If I just do a console.log on task, I see title, description, and then my two string function. And that doesn't look clean. Or I can even do object.keys on task and I get title, description, and two string. Now in this case, I don't want two string to show up in that way. I want, when you just do a CL on my task, I just wanna see title and description. I wanna hide that two string from everybody else. So I can set enumerable to false. And now when I run this, now I just get title and description. So that's where those two things come in. If configurable is set to true, I can come back in later. This one is not as important as the other two. I can come back in later and redefine. So if I go object.define property, task, to string, I can set enumerable equal to true. And now when I run it, notice to string is there. And that's not behavior I necessarily want. I don't necessarily want somebody to be able to come in. If I set an Uber rule to false, I don't want somebody to be able to come in and set it to true. So I keep configurable as false. And then I get an error. This actually throws an error, cannot redefine property. It says, hold on, you can't do that because configurable has been set to false.